Man, did I mess up. If y'all remember a while back, I was in the cotton field, we was in some really good cotton, and I was coming across the field a little too fast, try to keep up with the cotton picker, because Jim will crack that whip if uh, that cotton picker has to sit too long. Gotta keep our composure. And I didn't want that to happen, so uh, I come across doing about 15 miles an hour, and I hit a, a wash a little too hard, and I broke the axle on the bowl buggy. And I didn't even know it until Keefe had called me over the radio and said, hey, you lost a tire. But, uh, yeah, we got it fixed, and we ready to rock and roll for next season. Oh! I've had it! What is it, what is it, what's going on, everybody? Hope everybody's having a great day. Today, we are working on a special project, getting the bull buggy, the spindle redone on it. So, uh, I think we had to buy the whole axle for it, because uh, they don't sell the spindle individual so uh we're gonna probably have to cut all this out and this is actually welded it's got a welded band i don't know if y'all can see right there so we're going to cut this and drop this whole section down and uh right now all we did was took off the hub uh and the spindle uh washing up some parts cast some nuts in there uh the bearings and the washers are in there we're washing those up so kiffy's gonna go get a drink maybe i don't know um but yeah that's what we're doing today um me and kyle were changing oil this morning on one of the tractors so yeah come along with us keep he's gonna make an adjustment he just informed me what we're doing as far as this whole axle goes we're actually gonna put the tires on both sides He's gonna go in sideways, pick it up. We're gonna put the pipe tires on both sides and then we're gonna be able to roll it right to where we need to. There's the old spindle. Piece of broke off. So. All right, Keith, what are we doing? Taking this axle loose. All right, so what we gotta do to it? We've Take already it. cut that off. Yeah. The, the band hoop. on the back side. That's your hoop, in case it breaks, it won't let it fall off. You gotta take your bolts out. Take bolts out, and we actually put cribbing up under it so it won't drop down and cause the other side to bind up. Right? Yep. So, we were actually going to Carolina squat the bull buggy. Uh, we got to get the lift kit right. That's all we're missing. Yeah, I just got to get some measurements to get the lift kit right on the front. Uh, so, that's exactly where the tires are going to be placed, and it's going to have that little lean to it. But, yeah, we're uh, we're going to Carolina squat the bull buggy, yeah, right? See how low that thing is in the back back there? See how low it is? It's that's, dragging tail in. That's scrubbing right there. So... <laughs> Ouch. 
Super excited today, we're filming our first episode of Let's Get Nuts. Testing. There's Still nothing? nothing? No. Would you say that that year, financially, you made a million dollars? No. No? No. Super excited to check it out. You guys make sure you can uh, see it at Acres TV. You can search that on any smart TV and um, you'll, you'll see it there. It's gonna be a talk show. Trevor, he's gonna be working the camera. And what's your, what's your name? Emily. Emily. Uh, she's gonna be working the other camera. And dad's around here somewhere. Check out all these cameras. Canon M50. Paired with the Rode mic. Paired with the Rode shotgun mic. Another can, another Canon M, right. Another Canon, another Canon M50. And we're gonna be wearing Rode, Rode, Rode. Emily, is it Rode? Is that what it is? She's handling all the technical stuff. Road, road mics, wireless mics. Boys and girls, we are repanning our John Deere 630 discs. These are 24 inch pans that are wore out to about 19 to 20 inches now. So we're uh, freshening it up, ready to cut this soil into pieces. Ow, my foot! <laughs> For real that time. Okay, we got all the disc pans on, everything's done, but the last one will not come loose. So we've got our Ingersoll ran one inch drive, but we were running it, we were running it off of a three eighths air hose. So now we've got the one inch air hose, one inch Ingersoll ran, is it gonna work? About to do work. Look at that. Would you look at that? that was Set it on the hose. Brand new Baron. <laughs> Boom! Last time we repanned this disc, we swapped to the Barons that have the rivets. The rivets, the Barons are riveted to the flange or riveted inside the flange, that way it won't change. So when you go to grease it, it's always where it needs to be. Since we swapped to that style, honestly, we've changed what, maybe two or three? I mean, very seldom do we have to change a bearing. And some people say they never even grease their bearing, so who knows? Super tight. something new we're going to use the uh the lift to just lift her up and bolt it on the disc so theory sounds like it's going to work pretty good but we'll see that's going to be hard all right all right we got her hung up jeff how well do you think it worked What's that? This versus the old way. Off the ground, on the ground. Off the ground, for sure. Off the ground? Yeah. It yeah, went pretty good once you get it all to fit in here. Trevor, what you doing? Ooh, a little bit of winter cleaning. A little winter cleaning. These are all spindle bars, dolphin uh, bars. Out of an old case, 2055, I think. So this is part of the old barn that really hasn't been utilized in years. And we're trying to clean it out a little bit. Start storing some, some irrigation parts. Oh no, I don't think he's coming back. What would you say is your favorite tractor you've ever ran? 
I'm gonna say one of my favorites was probably that 4960. 4960. Uh huh. What year uh, is this tractor? It's 92. 92. Uh -huh. Now, it boggles my mind mm -hmm. why you would say this is your favorite tractor, because mm -hmm. my favorite tractor is the newer tractors, like mm -hmm. the John Deere 8330. Yeah. I guess this bulk of the acres you farm was on this tractor, huh? Yes, it was. I've done most of my farming on that 49. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't like to lift on this one. Well, it's not. It's get, not good thing. Pull it back. The newer tractors, you just take one little finger and boop, right, boop, right, comes right up. Well, I mean, you know, back when I farm, you, you actually work stuff. Right. When you did farm, did you have GPS on the nine? Like, or no. did you drive it yourself? No. You we, did drive it yourself. We were real tractor drivers back then. Right. R, uh -huh. uh, RTD, mm -hmm. real tractor drivers. <laughs> not go. none of this RTK bullcrap. That's right. That's Do you right. think anybody on the farm today could drive a tractor? Oh yeah, I'm sure they could. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think I could drive a tractor by myself? Bar, focus, die, come.